discrete probability distribution. Binomial distribution is one of the most widely used discrete probability distribution. Binomial distribution is mainly based on experiment that is known as Bernoulli process, developed by Swiss mathematician Jacob Bernoulli, middle of 16th century. Let us see what is Bernoulli process or Bernoulli experiment. In Bernoulli process, there will be only two outcomes in a single trial. As for example, head or tail for tossing a single coin, failure or success, cure or not cure, defective or non-defective, smoker or non-smoker, married or unmarried. Let us go in details for binomial distribution. In binomial distribution, the experiments will be random and there are a fixed number of repeated trials and these trials will be independent. Let us see what is trial. A trial is a particular outcome or result of an experiment. As for example, tossing a coil 10 times, randomly choosing 10 people, rolling a die five times, etc., are the example of experiment. Where is the outcomes of a single coin that will be head or tail is a trial. Okay. So trial is a outcome of an experiment. Let us describe binomial distribution. Suppose uh, there is a random experiment. There are two possible outcomes. One is success and other is failure. And let P is the probability of success in a single trial. And there are N independent repeated trials. And let X is denoted as successes. Then binomial distribution, we can express that the probability of getting X success in N trials will be this function. See, this is the binomial distribution. The probability of X success out of N independent trials will be N X. That is N combination X. That is out of N, there will be X success multiplied by probability P power X success one minus P N minus X. So this is the binomial power distribution function and the value of X will be zero, one, two, up to N. Okay, the value of N C X you can get easily from the calculator or from the computer that is calculated as follows. Okay, so you can get and sometime on minus p is denoted by q, which is nothing but the failure. Okay. For binomial distribution, you have to understand or remember some thing that is the mean of the binomial distribution is uh, exp ex expectation of x equal n multiply p, and the variance will be n multiply p multiply on minus p, that is n p q, where q is the one minus p. And you know, from the variance, you can find the standard deviation, which is nothing but root over of variance, okay? Root over NP, one minus P. Let us see some example. There is an example of random experiment. Uh, you can go through the example, but you have to go how to solve problem by binomial distribution. So this is example number two, uh, where an insurance broker has five contracts and he believed that for each contract, the probability of getting a sale is 0 0.4. So this is the success of the insurance broker. Out of four con five contracts, uh, he can get a sale. Successful sale will be 0 0.4. Now we have to find the probability. He makes no sale. That is out of five contracts, he will make no sale, no success. And he makes one sale, at most one sale, at least two cells between one and two cell, and what is the mean and variance for the distribution? So here we find so there are fixed number of trials or experiment that is five contract, and there are two outcomes only. 
success or not sell so and probability of success is given so we can use here binomial distribution okay see what is given the probability of success p equal to 0.4 and n equal to 5 that is independent uh, experimental trials and according to question number 1 he makes no sell that is x success equal to 0 then we put the value all the values in the binomial distribution that is x equal to 0 that is the we know the distribution function of binomial distribution out of five trial five contact you will get zero no sell put all the value you can do simple by calculator by hand okay later we will see how can we can calculate this in excel which is very easier okay similarly one cell that is success will be one x equal to one you can put the value ncx 51 uh, multiply by probability of success 0.04 power 1 multiply 1 minus 0.04 that n minus x 5 minus 1 if you calculate all the value you will get this 0.259 at most one cell that is he cannot get more than one cell that is less than equal to one cell that is you can get x equal to 0 plus x equal to 1 that is no cell plus one cell that is will be at most on cell we know already for the zero cell we know there will be no cell already we know zero if you calculate it before you don't need to calculate again 0.078 so for at most 0.078 and for the one 0.259 that will be 0.337 and at least two mean at least two cell that is two or more cell that is more than two cell or two or more cell that is 2 3 4 out of 5 contact it will be 2 3 4 5 but we can do according to probability rule all minus less than equal to one cell okay so we know for less than equal to one will be 0 1 so we calculated before so one putting all the value we will get 0.663 that is at least two cell the probability will be 0.663 for the between one and two cell we can do like that that is greater than equal to less than equal to one so if you minus uh, Uh, from uh, x equal to two minus x equal to one, uh, putting you know for the two for two we can calculate by the binomial distribution function n c two that is n c x n mean five c uh, x equal to two that is five c two multiplied by, by this power the success power two and one minus that is you know, know that then minus you know for the one putting all the value for the between two and one cell we will get is zero point zero eight six four. And for you know, for the mean of binomial distribution is uh, n multiply p. Our n is equal to five. P we know zero point four. That will be two. And the variance we know that is n multiply p one minus p. Putting all the value, we will get it one point two. So if we want to get the standard deviation, take the root over of one point two. So this is way. This is the way to calculate the probability which follows binomial distribution. Let us see how we can do this uh, same problem. In Excel, which is very easier, okay. Just remember, there are five trials, n equal to five, and the probability of success that is x equal to zero point five. And what are the questions uh, we want to solve? Remember this, then we can do this by binomial distribution in Excel, okay? Let us see. So we know from the example two, the probability of success zero point. That is zero point four. That is you can get point four. Okay, point four zero. And number of trial is equal to five. And we want to get there will be no sale. That is x equal to zero. And if you put here cursor equal sign, that is you have to uh, consider binomial uh, distribution. So if you put everything here, say equal sign binomial distribution, you will get it. Binomial distribution number. That is number of success you get. There will be no success. And how many trials? Five trials, and probability of success equal to zero point four. And the cumulative, we don't want the cumulative that is less than or equal. We want only exactly zero cells, and that will be if you give the enter, you will get it zero point seven seven five. In the right side, I'll I show the formula how to get it. Similarly, equal to one cell, just put it. You will get it. That is uh, our success is one out of five trials, and the probability of Success is zero point four, and we don't want the cumulative. That is, we have to select the false. Okay, this is the for x equal to one success, and give the enter. You will get it 
0.0259 which we got in by calculator. Now less than equal to one, you have to do what to do, see? Binomial distribution, there is one success and uh, five trials, probability of uh, success is 0.5, true. Because we want to get the cumulative less than equal to one, we have to put true, okay? We have to select the true and give the enter, you will get it 0 0.33696, which we got by calculator, okay? Similarly, greater than two, greater than equal to, that is the at least two, that is one minus less than equal probability, less than equal to one. We know it, so putting the value already for all less than equal to one, we know, then you will get the value. And between similarly equal to two and equal to one, uh, equal to one if you minus, that is we got from here, two we can go, see, we can do it easily, okay? We two for two we did already before. So if you put, you will get this, formula, okay? I saw how to get for two and one, okay? This is the way we can get it. So binomial probability of two, that is a two success, five trial, 0 0.4 success, uh, probability of success and false because equal to, and minus binomial uh, distribution, uh, one success, five trial, 0 0.4 success red and false. That is, if you give the enter, you will get it 0 0.864. So this is the way we can do uh, binomial distribution problem solving in Excel, which is very easier. One more thing I want to add in binomial distribution, that is if you go through the binomial distribution function, that is P and N, that is N is the number of trials that is fixed and P is the probability the success, these two are known as parameter of the binomial distribution, okay? Remember that there are only two parameters in binomial distribution, the probability of success P and the number of trials, okay? That two will be given and will be fixed. Then we want to find the probability of success. So this is the thing for the binomial distribution. Please do more practice. There are a lot of example is solved here. So you can practice more and more. Practice makes you perfect. So don't rely only one example. You can try yourself. There are many examples also below their exercise. If you do more practice, it'll be more easier and you will be, you'll be expert in data science and machine learning, which is very important for uh, the profession, okay? In modern data science and machine learning, they are using binomial distribution very vastly, okay? Please do more practice, it will be good for you.